Monday, July 13th, 2020, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Before I start today, I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers again for their support of my channel, uh, not only uh, through just watching it and uh, participating uh, through comments, through sharing my videos, also through uh, being members on Patreon, uh, through uh, contributing through PayPal and other means, and also using the Teespring store. Uh, thank you very much again. Uh, I had a comment yesterday uh, in one of my videos, uh, and uh, someone said the Bank of England uh, should retire all the debt that's been created since its inception. They should buy all the debt. And it got me thinking, what are they going to buy it with? Well, there's only one thing that can extinguish that, and that's real money. And what is real money? Well, historically, for the last thousands of years, uh, there's been three kinds of money, really. One is copper, right here, even though it's considered a industrial metal. Uh, we've had silver as well. And, of course, we've had gold. <laughs> I, I don't have a, a really big bar like that of gold, but this is still worth quite a bit in fiat. So, yeah, uh, people don't realize the system we have is a Ponzi scheme. And that's why uh, a rising price of gold and the rising price of silver, even copper now, uh, which is starting to catch up, is not a good signal uh, and uh, very knowledgeable, wealthy investors know this. Yes, uh, the powers that be uh, seem like they don't like gold or silver or even copper maybe. But uh, as Lindsay Williams used to say, his insider friends always said that gold uh, was their currency, and I think it still is, of course. And that's why a reset is so important. What a reset does is it pays back uh, lenders, and the lenders, of course, uh, are the people in charge. They're the big banks, uh, investors as well. And that's why you need to have precious metals, because we're getting to a point, uh, it's like a musical chair. Uh, a game of musical chair, and uh, they're uh, getting closer to uh, turning off the music, and you're going to be left without a seat if you don't have uh, these here, uh, and this, of course, and uh, uh, the other uh, thing that's very simple, this is not complicated, this is not, you don't have to go to university and get a PhD in economics, it's just common sense. Unfortunately, uh, for generations, people haven't been taught common sense in school, they haven't been taught about money, because they don't want people to know. As Henry Ford said once, if the American people knew how the monetary system works, uh, there'd be a revolution the next morning. Uh, and I would say we don't even have a monetary system because we don't uh, extinguish that anymore when we uh, do transactions with other people uh, or other companies, uh, when we uh, buy things. We're just passing on debt, a promissory note. It says here that this is a promise, of course. It's just paper. This was just a receipt for the money. Uh, in the past, and they've been able to uh, keep this uh, scheme going, and uh, yeah, that's why it's important to have precious metals. Uh, as per that comment from uh, my viewer, yeah, I, I think that makes sense, but uh, the only way they'd really fix the system is to pay it back with gold, and that means putting gold back in the system, uh, silver as well, even copper, because then uh, every transaction would be, uh, every debt, of course, would be extinguished. Because that's what you do when you uh, exchange in the market. You, you pay a debt. Uh, you're selling something to someone and he's paying you with something. Uh, in barter, of course, uh, you just exchange goods. 
so there's no uh, money involved. But when there's money involved, it's supposed to extinguish debt. So I would argue uh, the monetary system has been a non-monetary system since uh, Nixon closed the gold window at Bretton Woods, uh, because at least until then, countries could uh, take their dollar bills. Well, this is a pound note. I don't have a dollar bill. And they could get or 35 uh, Federal Reserve notes and they could get an ounce of gold. It was still possible. And even uh, back in the 60s, most countries in Western Europe, US and Canada, Australia, they still used silver coins, copper coins. So the system was more honest. So this is how they've been able to keep this uh, Ponzi scheme going uh, because most people don't know about it. But you can bet on gold and silver and even copper now start showing signs uh, that something is wrong with the system. There's something in uh, people's DNA that tells them there's something wrong uh, in the monetary system. And for some reason, that's how it's always been. They realize that this is nothing but a promise. So thank you for that comment. Uh, it gave me the idea for the video today. So um, let's look at uh, where the markets are this morning. Uh, I'm going to have a sip of my coffee with my NDECB mug. It, it's uh, got NDECB in English. It's got Ferme la BCE in French and in German Die ECB Herr Unterfahren. That's in German. And I've got uh, Christine Lagarde behind bars. <laughs> and why is that? Well, because she was uh, found guilty of criminal charges uh, back in 2016 by a special French court. Uh, she got a, a one-year prison sentence, but they uh, commuted that, just like President Trump did for uh, Mr. Stone. And then she went back to work for the IMF, and now she's president of the ECB. And talking about the ECB, well, Investing.com is reporting. Uh, stocks, Europe seen higher. ECB meets this week. European stock markets are set to open higher Monday with investors looking at the possibility of more stimulus as the new earnings season kicks off. So yeah, they're, they're waiting for the ECB uh, to maybe uh, create even more debt to keep the Ponzi going, to keep the musical chairs game going. It looks right now that the central banks are going to keep the music playing, uh, even though we need to be careful. <laughs> These people are not trustworthy. So it's uh, a little later than usual. It's quarter to 9 a.m. London. So right now we've got spot gold at 1805.50. That's up about seven and a half dollars. The high has been 1808.82. Uh, the low has been 1794. Silver is up 30 cents or 1.6 percent. So silver is doing well. We're just above 19 here. 1902. The high has been 1911. I'm going to go uh, look at copper now every day because I think it's important. Copper is up 2.37% this morning. That's high-grade copper. It's at 296.09. Just show you a chart of copper so you can see what it's doing here. Uh, we're almost back to the uh, 2018 high. We had a huge drop there in March, but that looks like a, a bear trap. A uh, bear trap is when people are bearish a commodity or stock or whatever and uh, it, it, it dumps really badly but then rebounds really quickly it's a bear trap and I think that's what copper is telling us and I think even copper is starting to show signs of monetary life actually it might sound weird but I think it is uh, yeah the, the stock market is higher this morning we've got the Dow up 0.6 of a percent the future of course 160 points at 26,234. S&P is at 3201, up 17, just over half a percent. NASDAQ 100, we're almost at 11,000 now. Uh, it's at 10,900, up 71 or two thirds of a percent. Currencies or fiat currencies, of course. Sterling is virtually unchanged at 126.25. The euro is up. 
uh, 0.2 of a percent at 113.18 and the dollar is unchanged versus the yen at 106.98 uh, dollar is uh, unchanged versus the U1. We're just uh, at seven, really, exactly at seven versus the U1. WTI crude is down over one percent. It's at forty uh, twenty-four. To finish off the bond market, the ten-year yield uh, we're unchanged at 0.636. Yeah, it, it's been a a very long winded and gradual process it's taken generations to convince people that uh, you can actually extinguish debt with more debt and that's what we've been doing i i think personally we're towards uh or moving towards the end of this non-system it's not a monetary system uh, and that's why the world uh, is so screwed up <laughs> Uh, you don't even have to uh, analyze uh, what's going on that much. You just have to look at the money. And, and why is that uh, so important? Well, because money makes up half of all transactions people do uh, in life. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is charity. Some people help other people, so you don't need to pay for that. But almost everything is dependent on money so if the money is bad or if there isn't any money and we are actually not extinguishing debt uh, and only a few people uh, high up know about that, they can keep benefiting. And that's why we have so much inequality. That's why there's still so much misery in the world. Uh, and uh, that's why I believe until uh, people learn about this, until we have leaders that are honest and uh, put the world back uh, on a sound money system, uh, or maybe uh, it's up to us really. And that's why I do these videos. Uh, and uh, it goes back to uh, where I grew up in Brazil, where the system has been even worse. They've abused it even more. And uh, growing up, I didn't understand why we had inflation. No one really knew. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there were some people that knew, but, uh, and that's why uh, I try to. Uh, show people what's going on that's the mission of this channel to go back to a, a sound money system or even a, just a free market system where we use real money uh, and of course now they're trying to get us to uh, use digital or just cards debit cards they're even taking away uh, this they want to take a, take it away not that this is good but it, it this shows us still the vestige of the old system because it's a promissory note. Uh, I think it's more important because of that. Uh, of course, the privacy um, question is important as well. But once we stop using these uh, banknotes, uh, it's going to be even harder for people to realize that the system goes back to real money like copper, gold, and Billy's favorite, silver. Uh, if any of you are wondering, this is a 2.1 kilo bar. So there you go. It has an assay here, a assay number. Not a very pretty bar, but it is silver. So there you go. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Please share it far and wide. Think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Parlay, and all these other platforms below here. I wish you all a great start to the week. Take care. Bye.